heaven right now. We are at the Perfect Day Cafe, and of course today we're talking all about the virtual wagon trail and how we can all come together to help animals in our community. And joining me today is KHS Foster Manager, Kayla Saylor. Now Kayla, when it comes to helping animals in our community, the Perfect Day Cafe has actually been a huge success, is that right? Yes, absolutely. The Perfect Day Cafe, they open in August of 2018, and since then they have adopted out um, almost 3,000 adult cats and kittens, and they are a vital part of our life-saving mission at KHS, and because of our partnership with them, we have been able to save so many more lives of cats and kittens around the state of Kentucky. Now, I see that there are a lot of kittens in this room right now. Is this something that's like typical of this time of year? Yes, absolutely. Um, this time of year is something that we call kitten season, and all across the United States, shelters are overflowing with kittens that are coming through their doors. And um, this is a very important time of year to get involved with your local shelter and see what their needs are. Currently, our foster program has about 300 kittens that are being cared for by our foster caregivers, and we have moms and kittens, kittens without mamas, we have kittens that are about this age just waiting to come to the cat cafe for adoption so right now is a very busy time for shelters all over the United States. I know that KHS is a big advocate of encouraging owners to take preventative measures so you don't end up with as many kittens at this time of year, is that right? Yes, absolutely. We are um, constantly encouraging members of the community to spay and neuter their pets. Spay and neuter is going to be the first defense to help with pet overpopulation um, and of course help with the um, overflow of kittens entering the shelter this time of year. So spay and neuter is a very, very important um, thing for owners to participate in. In with their personal pets. And for people who want to get more involved, what are some different ways that they can do that? We have a volunteer program for people that want to volunteer at the shelter. We also have a foster program for people who want to take animals into their home and help them until they're ready for adoption. The foster program is um, the program that I'm a part of and we provide all of the supplies and medical care to our foster caregivers. And although we are really overrun with cats and kittens, our foster program is for any animal at the shelter, so for dogs and puppies as well. And it's a really awesome way for um, volunteers volunteers to be involved if they are uncomfortable with coming to the shelter right now because they can take the animals into their home um, for any length of time as short as one week or up to a few weeks and they can feel like they're still helping animals in need while still feeling safe in their homes. So you work for the Kentucky Humane Society but are you also participating in the wagon trail this year? Yeah, every year um, a group of staff members at the shelter, we create a team and we all work together to fundraise for Wagon Trail. Although we work at KHS, we're really passionate about the uh, mission of Wagon Trail and we know that the fundraising for Wagon Trail goes back to support our life-saving mission and help support the animals in need at the shelter. Um, all of the fundraising efforts for Wagon Trail help with spay and neuter, medical care, and a, a lot of other needs to care for the animals at the shelter. Kayla, thank you so much for having us today. KHS Virtual Wagon Trail is August 7th through 9th, and all you have to do is go to kyhumane.org for more information. You just sign up, get your friends and family to support you, and then go for a walk. From the Perfect Day Cafe on Bardstown Road, I'm Joanne Dixon.